electric guitar. Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Skin. So today I have for you some Patrick Tar goodies. I missed his first launch, but I have made up for it in this one. Now, you've probably heard that the major headlines launch includes blushes that are cream and powder. And on his YouTube channel or on his Instagram, you can actually check him out applying both the powder and the cream together. Now, don't be afraid, I'm gonna talk you through exactly how you need to apply it, or at least how I think you should apply it based on his recommendation. I also got a lipstick. Now, all of the light colors and the neon colors, you know, the bright orange were sold out. But I did think, you know what, I will get one of them to check the texture for you, to check the formulation, to check how it glides on or not, see if it's matte. And he did say, and they do claim it's one swipe. So I want to see if that's the case. Also, I just wanted to start inserting for you what I have on my face because a lot of questions do get asked and sometimes I have time to fill in in the description and sometimes I don't. I will try my best to update those for you. So on my skin at the moment, I have Becca First Light Primer and then today I mixed two foundations because I was in the mixing mood. I've got Vanish from Hourglass. The shade is golden, but it's not the right shade, so I've mixed it and tried to make it work for me. And I've got the Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. It's shade 7. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on. I have my Brow Definer from MUA. This is £3. Message me if you want to know more. I obviously have on Patrick Tar products. I have on the Ico Liner for my wings. And the Essence Mascara, I Need a Miracle. This actually tints your lashes and makes them really, really dark. And the corrector I have on is a new pot of NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Biscuit. And too fussy on the lips. All right, let's get into it. So Cult Beauty, I am so, 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 so happy with you. Thank you so much for sending these next day delivery. I just couldn't believe it. Double Take Cream and Powder. Now there are a select few makeup brands that allow your base to work with cream and powder. And uh, let's see if this is one of them. So I really like the rose gold packaging. Feels very luxurious. So the base pops open. Do we know her? So on the packaging, there are directions for a sheer look and a dewy glow. Dab and blend the creamy formula onto cheeks. For a soft airbrushed finish, sweep the powder onto the apples of the cheeks with the fluffy powder brush. Or for the ultimate payoff, layer the cream formula over the powders for a glossy dimensional look. So that's the one we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and dip in to the powder. I'm using the Wayne Goss Artist Collection Large. So in Patrick Tarr's video, I saw him dabbing, almost just pressing the powder on where he wanted it. Can you see as I've been talking, that's been just layering on. That is really nice, guys. I'm gonna add more. And now I'm going to start to blend. That's a lovely colour. I'm going to tap some. Because if you watch his tutorials, he kind of does this. That's lovely. So now I'm going to stop using this because this is just for powder. There's a cream swatch for you. So I'm going to go in. I think that's lightened the look a little bit. Just 
going to freestyle and just put this everywhere. Lovely. That's them swatched. Let's do She's That Girl. So how have you guys been? I hope you've been well. Oh, it's just such nice packaging. Really feels luxurious. Now I wanted to go for the pinkish style because I actually realised I don't have a staple pink in my collection. I'm going to pick up quite a bit of colour. this is also stunning this pink is wonderful i think these are going to work beautifully as a duo what i do like is you've got best of both worlds and there's a cover on there as well i'm really building this up for you guys so you can see these brushes are amazing by the way they make all of my work so much easier So I got these two colours because the other two to me look like bronzy colours and I have so many bronzes. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury, I've got this beautiful raisin colour from MAC in a pan and I just wanted to inject some colour into my collection. Now on me, these two on camera are looking very, very similar. Hands down, very impressed so far. See, to me, this is looking very much carpet ready, very much glossy, dewy, all that good stuff. So just so that you know, nothing in terms of mixing or mixing or in, or in terms of like congealing is happening. You can see on my skin, it just looks like skin. Now I have on my lips Fenty Fussy. I did manage to get hold of a Patrick Tar lipstick. All of the lighter shades were out of stock. She must be new. Now, I just want to talk about the packaging. So on top, there's the PT. The lid is higher. So you've got your Huda lid, and then you've got your Patrick Tar. You're getting four grams of product. So let's go ahead and swatch this beautiful lipstick. That is so nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful maroon. Oh my gosh. Barely touched my lips. In autumn, this is going to be amazing. I just want to talk about all three products. As you can see, the blush and cream blush situation is wonderful. Really, really glossy, really, really glowy. I would wear both of them on their own or together. Um, I think if I was going out, I'd want to layer the two together. And what I'll do is another one of my tutorials because I've got a lot of things coming up. I'll do just the blush on its own, just the powder blush, just the powder blush on its own, and then just the cream on its own, so you guys can see. But first, first time ever using Patrick Tar, I'm in love. I've always loved his work anyway. The lipstick is so comfortable, really, really nice. I think I would wear this as a stain as well as with gloss. The pigment is there it almost makes me feel so disappointed i wasn't able to get any of the neon or lighter colors i will try cult beauty were amazing in getting this delivery to me so that i could show you this review the patrick tar blushes are approved they are amazing they feel lightweight on the skin 
as you can see live that there's no mixing there's no congealing the two mediums can mix cream does have to go with cream and powder does have to go with powder however when you've got major players or major experienced artists bringing this to you, the insider secrets are there. If you want both, go for it. Absolutely love this, love the lipstick. It's so comfortable. The color is even more beautiful in person. I love the packaging, it's a huge yes. My Charlotte Tilbury giveaway ends tomorrow, so guys, there's still time to enter that and I have my you choose giveaway. I will sort out an end date for that, but that is basically for you to choose from any of my videos, one product that you'd like to win and there's two lucky winners. Thank you so much for watching. Keep those subscriptions coming in. I have a huge announcement and I know I keep teasing you with it, but because it's so big and I wanna make sure everything's planned correctly, I will announce it to you, I promise. See you in the next one.